Hey, it's Melissa from Sincerely Creative Mom. Welcome back. We're going to create um, a St. Patrick's Day design on a 10 inch frame. This is part of our St. Patrick's Day triple kit um, designs. There's, there's actually four videos. One was the cutting video. So if you're starting this and you've purchased the kit, don't forget to watch that video first. Um, so one thing I forgot, and I, I kind of, I, you'll see in the video, I forgot to add our um, <coughs> the, um, mounts here to the back of our sign. So we're going to do that together. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, the piece off the back. I'm going to take that piece off the back. And I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of glue here. A little tiny bit of glue teeny tiny little piece. Can I add that on there? I'm going to add it to the back and then I'm going to take my heavy duty clamps. I'm going to do those first. So if you purchase the kit, um, you know, add that and do that part first. Now, if you don't have the glue, it's totally okay. Uh, you know, those pieces work just fine. Excuse me. They work just fine. I just wanted to add a little extra piece. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add our first six pieces. So we're going to work on this design. It's we're going to work on the outside first. Okay. So I'm going to put my hole, my pipe cleaner in right in the hole where there's an outside notch, every single piece where there's an outside notch. And then I'm going to tie it close to the hole, different from how I do it with a 14 inch. Um, I want this to have a little bit of uh, extra, um, a little bit of extra support underneath the, er, for the mesh. And so I'm just making sure that I tie that close to the hole. Okay. So 14 inch is different on the 10 inch frame. I'm making sure I'm doing it right by that hole instead of the notch. So we're doing just six pieces here today. Now, if you didn't purchase the kit, please, by all means, I'd love to have you stay and watch this video for just a different um, way to create our wreaths and to use the 10 inch frame um, from the pancake bundle that we've been using and loving so much. Okay, so we have extra, we're gonna set those aside. That's doing good. I chose to use the greenery in this design. So in the triple kit, you got one um, one bush of the clover greenery. I felt like this was more traditional. The get your green on sign was very glittery, very fun, lime green, light colors. And so this is a little more traditional. So I'm going to use the bush with this, uh, with this sign. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay. Our mesh is a little bit different when it comes to the 10 inch frame. So this is 26 inches long as we cut in the, um, in the cutting video. Make sure, please make sure, especially if you purchase this kit, I know I'm going to say it a couple times, but I know it's very informational to help you make sure you cut all the pieces correctly. Okay. So we have, um, our mesh, instead of going straight up the center, we're going to go just off to the side. So we're going to go um, about uh, right on this white line, which is about three inches or so off the edge. And we're going to ruffle there. Again, it's 26 inches long. 26 inches ruffling all the way up. Now, if I can keep my hands on the mesh the whole way, it's better. But I also don't want to scrunch up parts that don't need to be scrunched up. Okay, so I'm going to take that and put it right in there. See how, see how much real estate that takes up? Expands very nicely. Again, we talked about what pieces to use from the mesh, from the roll in that cutting instructions. So please make sure you're watching that. Okay, perfect. And we're going to keep doing that all the way around. Right up the side. in there nice and easy and 
Now, having that big part over here is going to make our design expand, right? It's going to make our design expand, which is going to be so nice. Oops, nope, whoopsie. Now, I tried it with just the pancake ruffle, the regular pancake ruffle. So technically, I named this the pancake 2.0 ruffle. So I tried it with just the regular pancake ruffle. And it, again, it just made a smaller wreath. And this is not what my customers, you know, this, they want them thin, but they don't want them smaller, right? They don't want them, the width to be compromised. So I love that the 25 or 26 inches here makes it expand a little. And because we're only talking about one layer, they are quicker projects, which is really nice. Uh, however, they have been selling for me both on Etsy and at the boutique, just, you know, just like it's a normal wreath. So it's also, it's a win-win in those situations. It's coming along nicely. Nice and fluffy, kind of. I love that. Come on, come on, last piece. Not last piece, but last. Make sure you get all the way up there. And you see I'm just going on top of the other piece. I'm just laying it on top, making this nice and ruffly. Makes it appear to be, you know, thicker. But will definitely um, flatten out, which is nice. Last piece coming in. So typically when I'm making, when I'm cutting mesh, I typically take off the first six pieces and use that for my 10 inch frame. Now because this triple kit had two 10 inch frames, um, you know, we cut and, and place that mesh in a certain um, pattern on purpose. So again, make sure you're watching that cutting instructions video. Okay, nice and kind of fluffy, uh, super pretty on that green. Love, love, love this green. Okay, we've already pre-cut our mesh, I'm sorry, our ribbons. So we're gonna take our ribbons and put them in. Again, they're 16 inches long. I put my favorite on the top. I dovetailed them. You can see that all in that video, of course. I'm gonna put those right in. Now, this style does allow you to see the uh, mesh a little bit more than you normally would in the 14 inch frame. So for those of you who are mesh lovers, uh, you know, you can see a little bit more, but also, you know, not too much. I, I love the mesh, obviously, it's a, ni it's a nice material, it's a nice um, element, it's a nice, it's, not, it's nice, but that, you know, the ribbons are what kind of takes the, steals the show in our pancake frames usually. Um, and so I you certainly want to be able to see those. So in this design, it's a nice mix of both. Uh-oh, I forgot. Somebody didn't let me. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm recording, so nobody. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, um, I'm going to add these. I totally forgot. I'm going to add these in. Three, four, five six at least I didn't cut them off because that would have been a, that would have been bad and then this little piece I'm actually going to use leftover pieces of this for the sign extender so I'm glad I didn't cut these I'm looking at it going wait there's supposed to be more here all right I'm just going to add this right time out let's go back here start over I'm going to untwist this 
and I'm only going to make sure it's twisted one, one time really good, one full time around, okay? Then I'm going to take these apart. You really kind of have to have these um, in place before you put in your greenery because I'm going to add a little bit of glue there just for extra, just for extra, extra, okay? I'm just going to add this right on top. Now these are kind of um, pushable, so you can make them be as long as you need. And now I'm going to twist that nice and tight and kind of just wrap that around the rest. Okay, so you do want to only have t one full time around, nice and tight, because if you if I if you put more in there and build up that pipe cleaner, it's going to be wobbly. Like this is nice and tight. Okay, shift these apart, pull those apart. And add our greenery. Really cute. Again, I just chose this particular one because it was a little more on the you know traditional side with the buffalo plaid, no glitter. There's a tiny bit of glitter in the bow, but you know not all glitter like the other ones from the project, from the kit rather. Um, part. Make sure it kind of lays there nicely, kind of comes out a little bit, nice and tight. So again, I am going to add a little bit of glue. Typically I don't, but Maybe for this, I just, I am going to. Okay, so we're just going to take, again, take, now we're going to do it all together the way we should have. Take our ribbon, okay? We're going to scrunch up the center, put it right down inside there. Nice and tight, one time around. Pull it up and down, pull it side to side, pull it up and down. Pull it side to side. Okay, lay it everything straight out towards the edges. Good. And then I'm going to take my piece of clover here. Lay it right down in. Tie that nice and tight. Nice and super tight. Okay. This also, for this particular design, it acts um, as like a, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but to kind of hold that ribbon down in place. Those ribbons are pretty long, and so after a while, as it is um, hanging on the door or on the wall all by itself, the ribbons can sometimes, even the best ribbons, um, you know, they can sometimes, you know, kind of fall forward. So this will act as like a holder to kind of hold that those ribbons in place also, which is really nice. And your customer doesn't know that, but, um, you know, after I s see them hanging on the wall for a while um, at the boutique, sometimes I walk over there and, you know, they're kind of <coughs> drooping forward a little bit. Some don't. Some do. Just, I guess, just... I don't know what's really. Anyway, so um, it'll help. It'll help to help help to hold it in place. This is really cute. This is really cute. So again, this is part of a triple kit. There was three projects in one, which is really nice. You use the same. Um, you use the same mesh for all of the pieces. So we have the cutting instructions are separate. 
or a separate video so it all made sense and it, it could all flow very easily and you could understand the whole thing all together um, and then do we have three or yeah three separate design um, design videos so make sure if you've purchased a triple kit make sure you're always watching the cutting instructions first and then also if you're watching and you've purchased a single kit, there's one instructional video on cutting for the single kits. And then of course they have, um, we have the, the um, tutorial for the actual piece. Okay, these are gonna be done and ready for me to go. I'm just gonna add this to the back here, slide it through. And slide it through. And I am going to go in the center. I'm going to try to go in the center. Now, without, without the bow, that's still pretty stinking cute. That's still pretty stinking cute there without the bow. I don't even know if I'm, I, where am I going to add the bow? That sign is way underneath there. Where's the bow going to go? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a smaller bow instead of a nice big bow because there's not a lot of room here and the frame is all the way under here. So it's going to be underneath that. It's going to be underneath there. Okay, we're gonna make a smaller bow. Not so big. I don't know if we can do that, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna try. Hmm. We can make a half bow, maybe. Now let me zoom you out so I can you can see what I'm looking at. Got a nice big nice big design here. We are Well our mesh comes out to 23 inches. Okay, our mesh from edge to edge, our mesh comes out to 23 inches. So it's a good size still. Um, but you know not a lot of room since that frame is like underneath here. So not a lot of room for our let's do a half bow and by half bow I mean let's go eight inches on the tail so it's a little bit different okay a little bit different eight inches on the tail and let's go about five inches on the loop one okay one loop just hear me out here okay just hear me out you have enough, before I do this, you have enough ribbon here to make my typical bow that I make for the pancake frame. So um, you can look in other videos for that, uh, for the actual, for that actual bow. Any other pancake frame design will have it. But this one, it, it has room for it because I could put that nice big bow here. You know what, let's just do that. I'm going to have to put it underneath there anyways. Let's just do that. Okay. We are going to make it a little bit smaller though. So I have an 8 inch and 5 inch. Okay. 8 inch and 5 inch. Pinch. Twist. 
loop and we're going to have a little bit left over and that is okay. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, I've been holding that for a while. My hands are screaming at me. Put me down! Okay, and then we're going to go with the black and white for the polka dots. Again, eight inches. And this is going to be a little bit smaller, so it's going to be like five and a half or four and a half pinch. Twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, and twist. The only thing is, I'm going to still put all of those. Um, I'm going to put all those tails going the same way. Usually I'd go back and forth, and for this I'm going to keep them all going the same direction. So they're all going to be facing down. They're all going to come down. We're going to see how this works out. Okay, so we have our last layer. It's going to go a little loop on the top. Inch. Now this one's little, that's about two inches, usually I do about three inches. Twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch. This is a thick ribbon. Twist, make, so make sure you're doing your twists really good. Loop, pinch, and twist. Okay, and then still I'm going to put those, I ended up with a with a tail on each side just because of the extra little loop. But well, that's okay. It's a little different. Okay, pipe cleaner. I'm just going to push it down and then lift it, make sure that it stays nice and tight. Pinch. Okay, I'm going to lift that up, straight up, and then afraid I'm going to knock those scissors off and that my, and my bare little feet. Okay. I'll slide it in there. Okay. So then we're just we're going to just fluff these and keep all the tails on the bottom. Okay. Fluff them and keep all the tails on the bottom. So I already spread that apart so that that's going to cover my pipe cleaner. I'm going to spread these apart on the top. these ones out to the side. So I'm leave the tail going up. Now thick ribbon, make it do what you want it to, okay? Make it do, you're the boss, make it do what you want it to. Tails all coming down here this way. There we go. place when we get in there. All right, let's get our sign attached. So because of the florals going around, I'm just going to, I am just going to leave it right in the center. I, if I shift this, it's going to make this look a lot smaller and it's going to look weird. So I'm going to just leave it right there. It's going to be totally fine. And it's nice that it's going through one layer instead of, you know, all the layers usually we're putting on using the 14 inch frame 
I'm going to do the same thing, just put those pieces in there so I can wrap it around. Now our sign is 10 inches wide, our frame is 10 inches wide, so nice and easily is going to cover up all those things. And what I think I'm going to do is, I think before I tie in that other side, I'm going to add in the bow so I can get it into the frame. So all I did was bring the pipe cleaners around and wrap it around that whole thing. And then I think I'm going to do this kind of at the same time. It's cute. It's different. Okay, it's different. All right, let me get in there, find the frame. Oh, and I have one of those little holes from the inside pipe, um, inside twist ties that we didn't use. Remember those hole? There's notches on the inside of the frame and on the outside of the frame. Remember? And we only use the outside. So I'll show what I'm doing in a second. Just pulling that in and holding it in there. I think that's good. Yep. All right, I'll, I'll turn it over in just a second. Let me get all these parts together. That turned out good. The other sign I think is a little bit, the other sign I think is a little bit smaller. Moving my chunky little fingers in here and getting them where I need to go. I'll show you what I did in just a second. So I used the frame. I'm going to squish that bow for just a second. I used the frame. I took our pipe cleaners for our sign. And I brought it right in. This is from our sign and this is from our sign. So I took our pipe cleaner, went it in, and fed it out, so, like in between, out here. Put our pipe cleaner in, brought it together, twisted it nice and tight over here stuffed the rest underneath so it was nice kept that nice and clean and smooth did the same thing over here for the for the bow that i'm squishing right now i actually grabbed you see the notches that were on the inside i actually grabbed that hole and wrapped my pipe cleaner in there so that it wasn't you know it wasn't um you know i didn't have to go all the way to the inside of that frame to grab on. I love it. Okay, I did have the idea to keep those a little bit longer, but of course I'm going to cut them now. I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, it's super cute that way. But I do like the tails all coming down towards the edge. Super, super duper cute. Y'all, I hope that you're subscribed and following us and watching and all those things so you can see all of our videos and tutorials. One last thing we're going to do, well not one last thing, but one of the things we're going to do next is go around and put these in place so that no one's hiding here. It's not going to look like I'm missing a ribbon. Okay, I don't want to look like I'm missing. 
and this little ribbon. I want that to be all the same. Kind of nicely kind of goes with those, with the ruffles here, which is kind of cool. Sure, you can see them all. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of glue underneath this bow to keep it in place. It would be helpful if I had more glue. Just a little tiny bit of glue to help keep it attached, tacked, whatever you want to call it, in place. Y'all, this is um, concludes your lucky design from the triple kit for the St. Patrick's Day. It's adorable. I can't wait to get it behind the camera and take pictures. Don't forget, there are four total videos for that triple St. Patrick's Day kit. The first one, the most important one, is the cutting instructions. Make sure you've watched that and consumed it before you started cutting your kits. Um, then, of course, there's this one. There's the Get Your Green On and the Shake Your Shamrocks. So you'll see those all in a row. Um, I hope that you're enjoying. Don't forget, if you're not on our email list, we'd love to have you. Our email friends get first dibs at all of our kits. You can go check that out at um, learnfrommelissa.com. Learnfrommelissa.com will have you enter in your email address and then from there um, that'll add you to our to our email list and then from there you'll get a list of links. So many different things that are available. How we can help you list directly for our kits. Um, just so many things. So if you haven't already joined our email list um, you know, you can you can add yourself there, and then also even if you have added yourself to our email list, that list of things, um, list of links, can be very very helpful. So once you get into that list, um, just save it to your browser so you have that link always. There we go, and then um, yeah, I hope to see you in the future. Oops, that's gonna be a little bit hot. I hope to see you in the future. Typically, I don't glue stuff in place. But this one I want to stay right here. I don't want it to move. Um, so, again, thank you very much for watching, consuming. If you have any questions, please let us know. Also, our text message number is also available on the learnfrommelissa.com. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, y'all.